up. Oh! Uh oh! Fish! Nice! Oh, we very slowly to start with, don't we? Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing good, hope you're well. We are currently in M&S. Just doing a bit of food shopping. A little hack that I saw on TikTok the other day. Otty didn't want to sit in the chair a second ago. So I've told her that if she sits in the front like this, and I've spun the trolley around, <laughs> she's driving it. She's so driving she it. She's driving the trolley. Are you driving? Oh, she's driving to go find a lolly. Oh, that, yeah. That's what oh, she... Oh, you want some bananas? We've already got some. Look in the trolley. I've got it's some the only thing we have got. Ones. Right, come on in. Where else are we going? <laughs> I feel like so often in the vlogs, Zoe and I accidentally wear matching outfits. And I swear it's gonna to get to the point where people, like you're gonna watch these videos and think that we're doing it on purpose. Because we'll come downstairs and I'll be like, Zoe, you can't wear that. And she'll be like, I was wearing this before you, you can't wear that. Because it looks like we've purposely synchronized our outfits together. Today our outfits couldn't be more the opposite. I've got like summery, loose, you holiday vibe. You've got dressed and I haven't. <laughs> What's happened here? But what you're wearing suits what we're doing. I look like I'm going to like a summer party. Yeah. yeah. And then Zoe's got leggings on with a Harry Styles, some Harry Styles merch. I feel like such a traitor because I didn't actually get to go and see him. Yeah, but we bought you that just as a little. I did pay a lot of money for a ticket. You bought all the tickets <laughs> and you didn't get to go yourself. Yeah. Do we want to get some more strawberries and raspberries to make strawberry and raspberry ice cream? Ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, let's do it. still my favourite one. Yeah. So well, let's definitely... Raspberries, that's probably enough. We'll do half of those. We could also do some, like, other fruity ones. Because I think it was the only fruit one we did. Like a... Like an Asian best meringue. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. If you didn't catch the vlog that I uploaded, not last week, the week before, Zoe and I bought a, um... It's called a Ninja Creamy. Oh, sorry, mate. An ice cream machine for the house. And it is so good, and we've been obsessed with just making. Yeah, it. And we've just been absolutely smashing the ice cream, the gelato. Like I think at the moment we've got six ice creams that we've made in the freezer. And we still want more. Yeah. <laughs> Baby chestnuts. Pop them in then. That's it. Well done. I like that she's not been food shopping with us in so long. And now we're actually out with her. She's like pointing at everything. So observant. Things. One, two, three, go! Oh, the garlic and herb. This is next level. One, two, hold on, three, one. Two, three. Whoa. Where's mummy? Ah. Hey. 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 Quick, run away, run away, drive away, drive. Oh, oh. Hey. Can you see her? Are you ready to drive? Are you ready to drive? Hold on. Hold on, get ready to drive. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> What's this? Carrots. Carrots. What's my name? Alfie. Alfie what? Alfie Days. Alfie Days. What's your name? Otty Rude Days. Otty Rude Days. And what's mummy's name? Zoe <laughs> Zoe Sug. It is a good couple of hours. Since I last vlogged, we've been just doing a bunch of like boring house admin-y kind of things that are no interest to the vlog. That was until about 10 minutes or so ago when this box arrived in the post. And I wasn't actually expecting it to come until Monday. It's just arrived early, which is nice. I don't know how much I'm gonna show in the vlog because inside this box is the brand new Future Self Summer Collection that we've been working a bunch on. I mean, I say we, I just want to reiterate, every time I say the word we or anything like that, future self is literally two of us. So when I say we've been like working hard on it, we genuinely have been working so hard on it because it's just two of us. We've completely switched up 
what we normally do from the actual makeup and material of the product all the way to the actual like the pattern and the fit and the shape and the actual pieces themselves and we've been developing a pair of shorts and like an oversized drop shoulder jumper both that are in 100% cotton and also a lighter grammage compared to what our normal pieces are which are obviously much more fitting for the colder times. I haven't done anything like this before for myself. And I also haven't seen these final, final pieces yet. I've seen them like very, very close, but we made some tweaks last week. They look so good. We also changed up some elements on the label as well. I'm gonna live in these shorts. We've absolutely smashed it. It's so nice just seeing everything like all come together. I literally couldn't be happier with these. Actually, do you know what I should do? I should put these clips in this vlog in black and white because I feel like otherwise I'm licking too much and obviously the collection doesn't drop for like another four weeks or so. But just for you watching, make a mental note. The new summer collection is coming in probably about four weeks time. Sure. Zoe and I are about to try on the final pieces. Oh, nice. That's really nice. Do you I like love that colour. I love how much thinner they are. Yeah, because it's a lighter grammage yeah. and it's 100% cotton. What size is that? XL. I reckon you but could then go unisex, one bigger. So I normally go double XL. I was going to say, yeah. I reckon you could go one bigger. Do you like it? Yeah, I really do. We last minute oh. decided to do, add t-shirts in as well. So I've got t-shirts. Blimey. I mean, that's pretty good. Go. Oh, it's just summer. We can't have a yeah, summer collection without tees. I love how long the sleeves are. I love that colour too with a tan, a little summer tan. Mm. So every couple of weeks, I find myself just on Instagram, like searching through different tattoo artists accounts and looking at other people's tattoos and then I end up putting up a story that's like, I need some more tattoos. I need to book in and get another couple of tattoos sometime soon. Yesterday, the day finally came. I booked in with a friend of mine and an unbelievable tattoo artist called Becky. She's the one who did my perspective piece here on my arm and also the matching tattoos with my mum, if you saw us get those ones. So I had the afternoon booked in yesterday with her and I planned to get two pieces. I ended up changing one of them to be slightly bigger than what it was planned to be. Therefore, didn't have time to get the second one. But I'm going to go back, I think, hopefully like this week or next week and get that one. So yesterday I got a new tattoo. It's by far the biggest one I've got yet. I was like... <sighs> nervous committing to getting it because it was the biggest one that I've got so far and I just want to have my body at that like a point and at a place where I've got quite a lot of tattoos going on particularly on my arms I don't think I'm gonna touch my chest I might go ribs at some point in the future I'll probably do my legs a little bit as well the meaning behind it is basically just resembling like all of the content that I've created online and offline, I suppose, as well. Over the years, I just wanted something to like encapsulate that I like creating content and have it like put on my body forever. Sean actually popped into the tattoo studio whilst I was getting it done. So he filmed a couple of clips on his iPhone that I'll insert into the vlog now. Just ready to take Let some pictures. Let me get a little close up. Little snap snap. If you want to go here, look at life. Yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. My non artistic, zero skill set at drawing, painting brain just can't comprehend how Becky can do what she does. It's incredible. And it's like even more incredible getting to like watch her firsthand on your own body do the actual work because I just don't understand it. Like my brain doesn't understand how she can shade with a tattoo gun so incredibly detailed. I mean like 98% of the tattoo was single needled, but, but I just don't understand how she can like just create the art, the tattoos that she does. It's an unbelievable skill. And I feel so lucky to have this piece on my arm now forever. It does feel weird. Like occasionally I catch it in the mirror because it's on the back of my arm. I don't always see it. And then I'll like turn or something and I catch the side of it in the mirror and it, and it catches me off guard that I've got it. Whereas these ones here, I mean, they're a lot smaller. 
I just don't even notice. And they're like right at the front of my arm, so I just never even see them. I don't notice. Anyways, I thought I'd show you the new tattoo. I thought I'd show you a couple of little clips of me getting it yesterday. I actually need to take this kind of like sticker. Let me show you. I need to take this second skin, I believe they call it, off here. And she told me to pull up and towards myself. Because I need to give the tattoo its first wash. Yo, that's making my skin look so weird in the camera. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, that hurt more than more than getting the actual tattoo done. Now I need to give it a little rinse in the shower. Do you want to come and tell everyone what your what your dream was? Yep. Yep. Do you yep. say yep or nope? Yep. You do? Yep. No. Yep. Nope. No. Yep. No. Nope. Nope. Artie has the most amazing memory and recall of anybody I know. She literally remembers the smallest little things that have happened. Can you tell everyone what your dream She's was? She's got a sug brain. Yes, it is like you and Joe. Yeah, we're like elephants. They just never forget anything, like any TV show from their childhood, anything. Look, come here. Can you? Can you? Oh, can you tell me? <laughs> can you tell me what your dream was? No, that's your snacks. Can you tell you me what did you dream of? Daddy, you had a dream about. What did you dream about in your nap? <laughs> See, just the most amazing recall, I told you. One of those moves, you can't like, you can't get in. Oh, yeah, dear. she's just... Oh dear, your snacks are in the plant pot. Who put them there? Otty put them. Yeah, Otty put them there. What did you dream of? The piggies. The piggies, and what did they do? They did. Your fingers? Yeah. What did they do to your fingers? Bite. They bite them? Yeah. <gasps> When I got Otty up from her nap, I was like, did you have any nice little dreams or anything? Which is what I ask her every day. And she can like normally recite what she's dreamt. Or like, she says what she dreamt. I don't know if she actually has, obviously. And today when I got her up from her nap, she was like, piggies ate my fingers. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, the piggies ate my fingers. So we just messaged Zoe's mum, who took her to the pigs the other day. And what did your mum say in the message? She said, I haven't looked at that in. How funny, that's because I said Nanny will feed them the grass in case the piggies thought her fingers were worms. She really does take in everything. <laughs> so Tracy's always mum said let me feed the pigs because there's a place locally to us where you can feed the pigs and Tracy fed the pigs so that they didn't bite Otty's fingers and she's like remember that taken in and then dreamt then you dreamt that the pigs ate your fingers didn't you? Yeah. Zoe's been playing this new game with Otty where you line up all of her animals and then you have to tell her oh you're coming over here you want to sit on this side Otty can you put the piggy in this one where's the piggy Oh, Yay. good job. Can you put the giraffe in this one? Nice. What about the hyena in this one? Where's the hyena? Oh, where is it? You can literally see her little brain like ticking. So, oh no. Is it next to the tiger? There he is. Yes. What noise does he make? What noise does a hyena make? <laughs> <laughs> Otty, can you put. Jelly on a plate? Wibble, 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 jelly on a plate? Is that what you want to play? Yeah. You ready for this one? What, you're going to play the Titanic theme tune then? <laughs> 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 I was like, oh my god, how does he do that? It started off exactly the same. Wow. Oh, it's 
there isn't any like anything you can press on it. Like there's no holes. Oh, yeah. There's no little like. Mm. How do you do it? Where's your one? Yeah. Start your vlog. Do some more vlogging. Go on. <laughs> I've just had possibly. Oh, look at my phone. I've got pizzas up <laughs> on my phone. It's currently quarter to nine. I haven't had dinner yet, but I'm very hungry and I want a pizza, but I'm not going to do it. I, um, I've just had one of the best things that can possibly happen happen to me. So I'm watching this series called The Lincoln Lawyer. It was like number one on Netflix the other day. I think it's still like number two or three at the moment. I'm currently on episode 10. Well, I've just finished episode 10 now. And it like hit the credits and everything and I was like, it's over. But I've still got so many un unanswered questions. So there must be another series at some point. And then the next episode just starts playing, but I was like, hold on. I thought that was the last episode. How is the next episode playing? Turns out the reason why it's number one in on Netflix, or was number one on Netflix, is because series two has just launched. But I didn't know that, so I didn't look. So I've just finished series one now, and I've been saying to Zoe how much I've been enjoying it, and I'm gutted that there's not, that like, I'm getting to the end of it. Turns out, oh, nearly knocked the light off. Turns out, I'm not getting to the end of it. Series 2 is now out. So I've got so much more to enjoy. I'm so happy. I literally thought it was the last episode. I need to make some dinner. She's kicking again. She kicking. Every time, <laughs> literally every time I get off the sofa, she starts kicking. And then every time I put my hand on Zoe's bump, she, stop. she stops. That's today. Yeah, I, have, I have caught her kicking. A couple of times. She started kicking actually way earlier than Otty. When we were away, Poppy literally put her hand on two kicks straight away. Yeah. You also don't really have the patience to sit and wait. No, I'll wait like a good 10 minutes. You do never wait. <laughs> Are you joking? You've never waited 10 minutes. Yeah. More like two minutes. Well, she starts sticking out and then I put my hand on and then she goes in. But I did feel a kick from when? Like 14 weeks? Or was it 16? It was, 14. It was at 15 weeks you felt. 15 weeks. And you've got a video of her kicking at 15 weeks as well. Yeah, from the outside. Which I feel like Ottie wasn't kicking until 16, 17? No, maybe more. 18, 19. 18, 19. Did you feel that? No. It's because you're talking. Yeah. You talking moves your stomach. Right, let me see. I want to see if I can catch one on camera. You're not going to catch one in my ribs. Wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's lively. Up there, that hand is useless up there. You never know where her feet are. I can feel her moving in there. She just right has, now. Yeah, she just. Okay, wait, wait, stop talking. Stop talking a sec. I felt that. That was big. That was, a big that was big one. over here. Yeah. Yeah. That was big. So her feet must be this side, and her head is this side. I feel like they said that at the last scan. That might be her dumb. She did yeah. one big boot to be like, get off. <laughs> that was a big one though. That was quite a big one. Let me give you some attention as well, Missy. Giving a nice little sleep. Look at your grey little chin. I am tired this evening. It's been one of those days that's just been like super chilled, as you've seen from the vlog. We didn't really have many plans. And therefore I always feel more tired on those kind of days. I think it's because I don't ever like fully wake up and therefore I just stay like chilled, which I'm sure is good for me, but it just means that I'm like more tired on days where I do less. It's currently two minutes past 10 in the evening, I'm just about to start eating my dinner and catch up on a couple of YouTube videos. So I'm gonna end off the vlog actually i haven't answered the question yet i was about to end off the vlog but if you've watched my videos recently you'll know that at the end of every video i answer a question from the previous video from the comments and i nearly forgot to do that so let me go on my previous video now this question is great it's from four days ago and it says if you were about to get a new tattoo what would it be and why Sending loads of love to Zoe and you and your family. Literally couldn't be more fitting. You've seen my new tattoo. I've told you why I got my new tattoo. Drop a comment down below yourself. I would love to know. If you were to get a tattoo, what would you get and why? I'll jump in the comments, reply back to a bunch of them, 
could be cool inspo for other people to be inspired about ideas and like, right, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I will catch you next Sunday with another new video. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll catch you soon.